We, the Greater Shepparton City Council, acknowledge the traditional owners of the land which now comprises Greater Shepparton. Welcome everyone. I'm pleased to be here with you all this afternoon as we unveil a, <clears throat> a monument recognising the location of the Jewish synagogue which previously sat on this land. It's great, great to see so many people here whose relatives we are involved in the community here today. I'd like to especially acknowledge the work of Shirley Randalls, uh, Alf Bradley and Ina Clive who have done a magnificent job in the organisation. Many people would not be aware that Chapman was home to about 60 Jewish families in the early to mid 90s. The first eight families who settled here um, converted a small house into a synagogue where Sabbath prayers and weddings were held. There was a very strong social connection which made this time and I'm sure many of these uh, connections lasted for many years. This is a very important part of our region's history and Australia's history and I'm pleased to be able to unveil this monument today. Thank you very much. historical site, um, Jewish Synagogue and Community Hostel, 1913 to 1966, corner of Doyle's Road and Poplar Avenue, Shepparton. And now I'm going to ask Jack, Jack Friedman, to come and say a prayer. <laughs> I'm just going to say a blessing that is in uh, line with this commemoration. Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Amen. Well, I've got the mic at the This is my opportunity. Oh, can you hear me? No, no. Hold that. It's only 10 pages, so have a bit of patience, all right? Uh, just a few words. Uh, okay. All right. Distinguished guests. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. An idea is an idea, but usually they are consigned to the waste bin. But it takes a lot of hard work to bring an idea to fruition. Um, and uh, to reality, as witnessed here today, we have a number of people to thank for this. Uh, a number of people, um, local people, namely Elsie Brady, the historian, and Peter and Bev Ford, from the Historical Society helped pave the way for Shirley and Ina to bring this idea to fruition. Shirley and Ina worked tirelessly for months, uh, liaising with the council, sending out emails, making numerous phone calls, trips to Shepparton, delegating and coordinating, preparing the afternoon tea, etc. etc. This brings us to this wonderful class commemorating the contribution Jewish people made to the Shepparton community over the last hundred years. Many of the Jewish people worked and lived on the orchard and enjoyed the fruits of their labour. Others opened businesses in the city and all in all were an integral part of the Shepparton community. It is great that we can remember all these Jewish people with this commemoration plaque. Last but not least, thank you all for coming to witness this wonderful event and donating to make it happen. Thank you very much. I was keen to get a musical moment that re represented the shul that used to happen here 
with services including memories of people playing shofar in the shul that no longer stands. And before we hear a surprise that some of you will never have heard together with the shofar, <coughs> descendant of Devorah Faglin, oldest son Motul Kutnik, is going to bless this moment with the sound of the shofar. Just a word about the shofar that you're going to hear. I'll hold it up so you can see it. This is a very unusual shofar. No, you probably haven't seen one like this used in a synagogue before. It's an unfinished one. It's not like the ones that have been sanded and polished and lacquered. This is how it looks when it comes off the ram's head, off the ram's head, except for the holes that have been drilled in. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Michael. And continuing this moment in the spirit of the land of which we're on, of the Yorta Yorta people, of which Uncle Boydie, grandson of esteemed William Cooper, who fought for Jewish rights when there were none, just before the Holocaust, after he heard about Kristallnacht, in the honour of that moment and the coming together of these two communities again, welcoming them from this land, Shane Charles is going to blow the sound of the didgeridoo that comes very much from this land. Please enjoy that before the finale. Thank you. 